Alright, hello guys. I hope everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas. In this video, we're going to be talking about the month of January. I'm going to be presenting you my forecast for the month of January. If you'd like to see the verifications and the reasons for why I'm forecasting certain things to happen, I'll be uploading a second video. That's where I'm going to kind of show you all of my analogs, the models, and all sorts of other stuff that went into the forecast. So you can click that. I'm going to be leaving that a link to that in the description. I'm going to pin it in the comments, and I'm also going to try to put it on the screen for you where you can click that as well. So make sure to head over to there. Uh, if you'd like to, you could watch this one first, though, and then and then end up watching that one, or vice versa, whatever you prefer. Anyway, let's get right into the forecast. We're going to start out with our temperature forecast. Now, I actually haven't changed this from a forecast that I put out a couple days ago. Uh, I really like that forecast, and it looks like that's still going to be the case going into the month of January. So, I, I found no reason to change anything. So, your temperature forecast is basically slightly above average or slight chance at above average temperatures for the entire western United States and then there's that increased chance in that orange color that's where we see the best chance at above average uh, temperatures and you'll likely see slightly above average temperatures in a lot of those western areas like Utah, Nevada, California, Oregon, uh, you name it. And, and then in the eastern United States, we have that below average temperature. We have the, the more slight chance in that lighter shade of blue. And then in, once we get into that darker shade of blue, that's where the, the highest confidence area of below average temperatures is, is right there for that kind of mid-Atlantic, southeast, central southeast area. Uh, there's that kind of area in the middle there that doesn't really have a color shading. That's where it's kind of a big question mark, which one will take over. A lot of models... Uh, are liking to show colder temperatures for that area, but some models are also liking to show warmer temperatures for that area. So we kind of just met in the middle and we're going to call it equal chance. Now we're going to move on to our precipitation forecast. We see below average precipitation or slight chance at below average precipitation for the northwestern United States. And this is going to be a big change up because we've had a lot of precipitation for you guys over the month of December. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of a break from that in January, I believe. And there for the central Great Lakes region, we're going to be looking at below average precipitation as well, slightly below average or slight chance at below average precipitation for Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan, uh, portions of Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, and Tennessee as well are going to be included in that. Uh, that's just where we're not going to really see any storm tracks that bring you a lot of precipitation. So overall, it looks like you shouldn't be seeing uh, too much precipitation this month, but you, you'll still see some. And then we see our light shade of green there. That's where we're going to have a slight chance at above average precipitation. And then we have our darker shade of green. That's where we really have a really good shot at having above average precipitation. Very typical in an El Nino for that area to have a lot of precipitation, by the way. Uh, and then that slight pulling up the coast. That's where we could be seeing some nor'easters pull up the coast. It's not a sure thing. That's why it's a slight chance at above average precipitation. But I'm leaning that way for sure. Uh, but the confidence is, is medium at best. Uh, we have our below average snowfall for the northwestern United States here, obviously because you're getting less precipitation and warmer temperatures. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't fare well for snowfall. Uh, and then also for that, that Great Lakes uh, central region there for Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky. Uh, you guys aren't gonna aren't gonna see uh, you know too much above average snowfall, I believe. I think you'll be right right near average or below average for that area, just with the lack of precipitation. And then we see the southeast, the inter interior southeast there. We see that slight chance at above average snowfall. I think all it's going to take is one storm, you know, one really cold pattern and a storm to track down there, and you guys all get above average. So I, I really think there's a chance that you guys will make out with above average. If we get one uh, small southern slider storm or something, uh, you guys are going to hit your average if that happens. And then we have a pretty good chance at nor'easters. Again, a medium confidence chance, and I, I really think we'll have above average uh, snowfall there for the northeastern, northern mid-Atlantic, and uh, the mid or the the New England areas. I think that's really where we look to see the most above average snowfall, or the best chance at above average snowfall, uh, due to the really cold temperatures, the the above average precipitation. If it all matches up well, we should have a really snowy January for you guys. Now we're going to move on to our last graphic here, and this is the overall forecast. This is the really pretty one that I love to make, I, and I really like the way this one usually turns out. And it, and it gives me an opportunity to kind of express my opinion without telling you a really scientific uh, opinion on it, obviously. This is more just like what I think will happen. So more dry than December here for the northwestern United States, obviously, uh, with less precipitation. You had above average precipitation for December, so we're going to see more dry than December, and you will notice it. 
in that orange area we have warmer than normal I think you'll you'll notice that this is quite warm the four corner states you know it might not be quite as much we've had cold temperatures there for quite a while as well as Nevada but I think really things are gonna warm up quite a bit here for January and then we have that lighter shade of green that's where we have a chance for above average precipitation I say a chance because this might not happen and this area usually tends to be tricky for forecasting precipitation and I've gotten it wrong multiple times so I'm just gonna say a chance for above average precipitation could go either way though but I'm leaning above average we have that gray area that's where we have near average conditions shouldn't be too much difference in temperature or precipitation and then we have our darker green shade that's where we have above average precipitation and I'm quite confident in that again El Nino and then also analogs all of it shows it uh, so we're looking at a pretty good chance at above average precipitation for you guys we have that purple section there for the Great Lakes and some of the Northern Plains. That's where we'll have brutal cold shots with thaws in between. And you'll make out with average temperatures, actually, surprisingly, I believe. But it's really going to be off and on cold. And when it is cold, I think it's going to pour on. It looks like that's a really good chance. Uh, and then our blue area, we have colder than normal temperatures. Again, if you looked at the temperature map that I made, this is the area that will primarily be seeing the cold. So that's why I put that there. And then our white section for the Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, and Mid or and New England. I keep trying to call New England Mid-Atlantic. We have very snowy. I think that we're going to see multiple snowstorms, and it's really going to pour on here in, in January, I believe. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this forecast. Again, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for updates throughout the month of January. I make snowfall forecasts, weekly forecasts, and sometimes even daily forecasts, and more monthly forecasts like this for February, obviously. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great January. I'll see you guys in the next video.